Hi, Matt Bunko here, behind me is today's load. The truck I'll be driving is a DAF and the load is a 24 tonne excavator. We will be driving from Parma to Forenza, so please join me and let's get trucking. Right, okay, good morning, thanks for joining me. As you can see, I'm in the truck already, getting ready to leave. And you've seen the truck and the load in the intro. Pretty cool one, start the week. So I think we'll get the engine started. I notice we've got a sat nav built into the dash. Not the biggest of screens, but it'll do. So let's check the mirrors. Make sure they're set up. And I noticed that we're a little bit wider than the truck with the trailer, so I'll have to keep an eye on that. But anyway, I think we'll uh, make a move. Uh, need a little bit of manoeuvring here to get out of this yard. Sharp right and then left through the gateway there. So we're keeping on that trailer next to us as we go around to the right. Looks like we've gone past that. So let's get through this gateway. Ah, that was pretty simple, not too bad. Right, let's get out on the road. So obviously I've spent the weekend here in Parma. We're pulling out of Parma this morning. Industrial estate. Uh, you may actually recognize some of this and the yard we've just come out of because that's where I delivered to on Friday. I think it was Friday now. At the end of last week with that big railway system where we had to get to the back of the building there on the right um, and if you was with me you will know I had a bit of an issue with the parking spot they wanted me to go in which basically I said no chance so I took it upon myself to park it where I thought it was a bit more of a sensible parking space right, let's get out why are you slowing down buddy don't know, anyway, let's get going. Um, so I parked it where I felt was a better place to park because the parking, you know, the, the whole trailer, them railway trailers, are really quite long. And basically, <laughs> if I'd have got it in the space they wanted, it would have been from the building touching at the back the front of the truck touching against the fence of the yard well a that's pretty pretty stupid space to try and get into anyway and b it would have just completely blocked their yard so i spotted a gap up the end of the building where i could park and it wouldn't block the yard so that's where i put it and obviously the idea was i'd go and plead my case with the sort of yard supervisor and uh, yeah, he was pretty much the same thinking as me, that, uh, that yeah, it was a good place to put it instead of where they kind of planned it. I don't think they'd anticipated the trailing quite so long. But anyway, let's get through this uh, toll station be a bit careful here because these lanes aren't that wide and obviously we're pretty wide today that's all good come on let's go let's get on the road so yeah so that was all good on Friday and I, <laughs> I was glad it was all good because it's like we'll see you Monday morning because I'm <laughs> Taking a load out of here Monday morning. What's that please? Oh yeah, I thought I saw a police car. Must be on my best behaviour. Anyway, let's get on the motorway. As we head further south, down into Italy. Pretty short one today. I think it's about just over four hours on the ETA, so we haven't got any need for a... Oh, hello. Looks like somebody's been pulled over. Obviously you weren't such a good boy. So yeah, um, yeah, no need for a rest stop or a break or anything today. We do it in one hit. 
so just drive straight through weather's pretty nice as you can see blue, I can see some blue sky a little bit of cloud but nothing to worry about I think we're in for a nice day so I hope everybody's alright out there in uh, video land hope your Monday morning's going as well as well mine's going it's pretty good so far weather's nice everything's been pretty straightforward so yes yeah, so I hope you've got nice weather wherever you are in the world and uh, yeah let's get this week going shall we Three loads lined up for this week. Let me further down into Italy. Like I say, I spent the weekend in Parma. Did my driving experience Saturday. Oh, what's that on the left there? It's weird, isn't it? What is that? It's a funny structure. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, is it something to do with a railway line? Look, this uh, railway there, isn't it? The power cables for a railway, so it must be some sort of a tunnel thing. Funny tunnel, though. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, I did my driving experience, went to Modena. After all of my, I'm not telling you where I'm going because there's four or five circuits I could be going to. So yes, I went to Modena, somewhere a little bit different. So that was a lot of fun, three cars. I should be putting that video together at some point and putting it out. Some pretty cool Italian cars as well. A little bit of an Italian theme. Right, another police car. Police car's about today. I hope you lot had a nice weekend. We got up to something nice. Obviously, as always, it goes past too quickly. And here we are, back to work. But that's okay. There's another weekend coming up. <laughs> the end of the week. So we're on the road. We're up to a decent cruising speed nice weather traffic's not too bad a little bit of traffic but pretty steady oh careful also I've got to be a little bit careful with this trailer kind of keep over to the right more so that things can get past without an issue or we're not too close to things as they pass service station, unfortunately we don't need you today it's only very scenic here isn't it nice and green plenty of trees I think like I said end of last week I did, I did want to get back into Italy oh, losing the lane should get out before this truck catches me up yeah I do like Italy it's very scenic So yeah, that's why I wanted to get back into Italy, so looks like we've got quite a nice route today. A bit of greenery. Oh, more tunnels. I must admit I'm not the biggest fan of their tunnels here in Italy. Not very not the widest of tunnels as you can see. Obviously we're going to have to pretty much take up a lane and a half. Oh wow, look at this. Okay. Oh, in between two tunnels, look. Wow, we're certainly high up here by the looks of it. Very scenic, very nice. Oh, and another police car. 
Yeah, well, how many police cars is that I've seen today? <laughs> Should play spot the police car. There's going to be police cars everywhere. Anyway, another tunnel to negotiate. It's a funky tunnel, and it kind of uphill on a curve. Yeah, there's not too much traffic about. This is a bit of a funny tunnel with a see through side. Anyway, I do like the scenery here. It's very nice, so. Well, uh. So I've completely lost my train of thought there. I was going to say something. But, uh. Don't know, it's gone. Anyway. Right. Oh, this is pretty open. That's weird, isn't it? I mean, just now we was it seemed like we was halfway up a mountain. Now it's like a wide open plain. Wow, it's a pretty diverse landscape. Oh, we've got the bus coat broken down. Oh dear. Not sure why they had trucks out in the outside land there. Cars buzzing past it. And now we've got to get over. Oh that's very kind buddy, you've dropped back, let me get out. Oh he's coming over now. I'm quite sure why he was out there but anyway. And another tunnel. You come past me. And then you can kind of, oh, you're going to come past me as well. Wow, I'll have to keep over. I'm flipping, everybody wants to come past me. Oh, God. Steady. I really don't like these tunnels, they're so narrow. Oh. little bit wayward there. Anyway we're going off here so a bit of traffic building up on that road. So what's the traffic's like up here. Well, it certainly is a nice day as you can see. A little bit of cloud, but uh, oh, steady, wait, oh, make sure there's nothing coming. I don't really like them, they were there, it seemed a bit weird. Them, there's kind of like a complete stop, right? Another toll station that is, that is kind of, I think, the one thing I'm not so keen on. So many toll stations. A, you have to stop, obviously, slow down to uh, get through. But when you've got a trailer like this today, which is pretty wide, it's a bit of a jiggle to get it through, make sure it fits. But anyway. Shake this roundabout. I do like these Italian buildings over there on the left. Fortunately, we're going this way. Not going past the buildings there. There's that spire thing again. I was just going behind the tree. I noticed that on the motorway. Oh, what's that there in front of us? Like a castle. I can't see that spire thing there. Oh, it's gone. It looks like a castle over there. Oh, that's nice there. Look at that. Super. 
bit careful, especially with these barriers so close here. Yeah, enjoying today, I've got to say. I mean, if all Mondays were like this, <laughs> apart from these barriers close to the motorway here, I'm quite enjoying today, a very scenic route. Traffic's not too bad. Yeah, if, if every Monday was like this, I think we could probably do away with the I hate Mondays or whatever the saying is about Mondays. Yeah, I really don't like these barriers when they're so close to the bottom edge of the road. Especially with a wide trailer as well. It's bad enough when you got a normal width trailer. Oh look, another police car. Add that one to the list. Oh good, we got rid of the barrier. <laughs> open country there on the right no silly barrier in the way it's a nice countryside oh I think we're going off here aren't we yeah too busy looking out the window not taking notice of the uh, sat nav which like I said is quite tiny it's not the biggest set now, I think it's not in the best position down there. I much do I much prefer sat navs that are kind of more up above the dashboard as it were, or you know, up in the windscreen area. That's more in your vision than having to look away. But anyway, so we're turning right. Cool, nothing's coming, let's keep going. And uh, we've got a little bit of normal two lane driving now. I think that's the end, well it must be the end of the motorway for the day. Because uh, we're going to like a, a mine quarry thing. I saw some nice buildings there but I couldn't see them when I looked. <laughs> yeah we're going to some mine quarry thing which is not unexpected with an excavator. Oh, I think it's coming up here we've got, to, we've got to drive what looks like miles down some sort of private road which is right here. I'm guessing this, this guy behind doesn't try and be clever and come up my inside, which I've had before. Oh, that's okay, you can't anyway. Yeah, I think this might be quite interesting. Uh, off road. Looks like I say, it looks like it's miles up here. Off road to get to this quarry, mine, which is not unexpected. that you would find a, a quarry or mine out in the middle of nowhere probably up its own private road so we negotiate this uh, dirt track for want of a better expression because that's all it is really and as you can see it's pretty snaky on the sat nav crazy on the speed, we'll just take it pretty steady. At least we don't got to worry about other traffic. Well, unless we meet someone coming the other way. <laughs> I 
think we should be good. This is not something you do every day in a truck, drive off road. But the only issue, and, and like I say, this is supposed to be Forenza now, we haven't seen Forenza at all on the sat nav. And uh, the actual town of Forenza is absolutely miles away from this place. So, as usual, I got caught out with these um, we're taking this well this is a bit <laughs> getting a bit interesting whoa, 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 steady diamond we've got a hairpin whoa oh steady wow That it's sunny today and dry because I would absolutely dread trying to get down this road in the wet. Well, it's not even a road, is it? It's a, like I said, a dirt track, which I'm sure would then become a mud track. Wow, yeah. Well, I'm so glad it's dry, Jesus. If this was wet, this would be an absolute nightmare. As it is, like I say, with it being dry. It's quite fun actually. Again, we've got another hairpin. Wow, this is around this rock. Yeah, we're doing that side, looks good. Glad actually, I think the trailer, I think it's a steer or a trailer as well. Oh, look at that down there. I mean, how far are we away from the road? We must be miles. So that's helping us. I think I'm, I'm sure that I'm sure the trailer's got steering wheels on it, so that's helping us some as well, which is good. Jeez, we're still not there. So yeah, so anyway, so we're out in the middle of nowhere, so I've got to make my way into town tonight. Anyway, let's just worry about getting it delivered first. Negotiating this track. Right, what have we got? We've got another hairpin coming up by the looks of it. No, wait, wait a minute, where's the road? It's going straight on, no? Oh no, oh we've got to, oh, we've got to turn right here I'm guessing. I'm guessing this is where we've got to turn. Yeah, looks like it. We won't go down there, I don't think. <laughs> cool. So we've made this, we're pretty much nearly there. Oh yeah, I can see, see civilization. I can see a building. I can see a fence. I think we've made it. Wow, that was, <laughs> that was something different, that was fun. So it's not every day you get to drive a, a truck down a dirt track like that. Right, so we've made it. Let's get in. And uh, where do they want us? Oh, hello. I think they want us over there to the left by that trailer with the little diggers in. Yeah, that's it. We've zoomed the sat nav in. Uh, it looks like it's over there to the left. So, 
guessing if we go around here to the right, if we can go back across somewhere. What's this here? Some roadway through here. Looks like another trailer. Or straight up. We go here by this trailer. This looks pretty good. Oh yeah, there's the space over there. And then we can drive straight into it. Cool. Yeah, this looks like a quarry, doesn't it? All the big lumps of rock, stone. So it's a mine as such. But anyway, so we position ourselves a little bit past here. And then time we pull around and straighten up, we should be straight in the space. Looks pretty good. See much that side, <laughs> oh, of course, because the trail is wide, isn't it? So, I'm not going to see. So, we use this side to line it up. All looks pretty good. I think that's about it. Oh, yeah, 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 super happy with that. So, wow, look at this out here. I sit in the middle of nowhere. So that was a lot of fun wasn't it, hope you enjoyed that, I certainly enjoyed driving that road, and uh, see you next time, bye. Well that's it for today, we have made it to our destination and delivered the load in one piece, so all good there. I hope you enjoyed the video and will join me next time, and of course please subscribe, like and comment. Have a nice day wherever you are and I hope to see you again soon, bye.